It's been a long time since we've been able to hang out and it feels great to be back. If you're new here, welcome to MLab or Bajika Laboratory, where we explore ways to bring our ideas to life. I'm your host, Nisha McCray. In past episodes, we've used CAD or computer-aided design alongside our 3D printer and electronic stations to bring to life an Anulux battery inspired by Avengers Endgame and a power glove inspired by Captain Marvel. In fact, while I was away, a few of my colleagues decided to inform my producers that my previous projects were a little too focused on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Therefore, in this episode, we'll take a break from the Marvel Universe and explore a classic tale with a modern live action twist. Roll the clip! Everything you see exist together in a delicate balance while others search for what they can take a true king searches for what he can give you must take your place circle of life. Lion King is a classic tale of a lion cub finding his way to becoming the leader of his pride. So, how about we create our version of the fiercest lioness in Simba's tribe, Nala, including her expressive mask and outfit inspired by the Lion King musical. As you can see here, in order to make our Nala costume a reality, we had to use several techniques, including 3D printing, electronics, and a lot, and I do mean a lot of crafting. This project can be done solo or as a family project to explore this Disney masterpiece in a fun and engaging way. Given I'm not trying to fool anyone here that I'm an artist, I'm going to draw inspiration from the originator of Nala's Mask and all of the costumes that make the Lion King musical the number one musical in the world, Julie Taymor. In doing so, we're going to import an image of Nala's Mask that Julie Taymor made for the original version of the musical and use it as a canvas for my sketch. Instead of using Sketchbook to create a sketch of Nala's Mask, we're going to use Fusion 360. If you prefer an alternative, and that's up to you, you can complete the next step in Adobe Illustrator, Rhino, Inkscape, or any other design software. Using Fusion 360's sketch feature, we're going to create a 2D trace of Nala's mask using several simple sketch tools, including line, arc, and ellipse. Let's start off with the straight parts of Nala's mask. First, we will trace the straight line on Nala's mask using our line tool. Once we've identified all of those, we're now going to tackle those pesky rounded edges and strange half arcs, especially around her ears and her mouth, using the arc tool. Once we get those arcs out of the way, we will finally use the ellipse tool in order to create Nala's eyes and decorations around her ear. Given that we now have our DX file of our sketch, we simply import our sketch into Cricut Design, which is the software that communicates with the Cricut Maker, in order to make sure our image is ready to cut and print. We are selecting our materials, and speaking of, we now need to prepare our cutting mat with our desired material and place it in our Cricut. In this case, I've already prepared our cutting mat with a light cardstock in mustard yellow in honor of Simba. So let's load our mat into our Cricut machine. Press the load button. Because we're drawing, I also need to add my pen to sketch all the finer details of Nala's mask. Load her on, make sure my blade is incorrectly, and now press start. I absolutely love using my Cricut, as you can probably tell from my very passionate decoration of my Cricut Maker. Now, while we're creating all of our components, we can soon start getting together all of our final components for our Nala mask. 
Feel free to use different materials to create your Nala mask, including felt in dark brown and golden yellow to make your Nala mask more realistic. As our MLAS studio becomes an impromptu costume shop filled with Disney magic, it's beginning to remind me of a shop with a different magical quality, Autodesk's Build Space. The Build Space is one of Boston's innovation hotspots where designers, architects, educators, and engineers come together to design the future. In collaboration with the Timothy Smith Network, we decided to take a field trip to the seaport in order to explore how we can make anything. Oh no, Simba! <laughs> yeah, you gotta click the lines. I told you, you had to click the lines. Welcome to TSN Presents, a professional development field trip. Yay, we're back in school. <laughs> I want you guys to breathe. This is for you to actually be a kid again, be able to ask questions and learn. I'm still trying to conceptualize what I'm hearing here. Yes. So all of this like, are they being used for construction projects all around the city? Is that what that is? They're testing, they're experimenting. Oh, okay. So this is not necessarily what is happening. This is what they're, they're learning. They're learning. This is a space of learning. And remember I said this is you learning and I want you to feel like you're a student or a learner this afternoon? I want you guys, whether you feel comfortable or whether you're a Marvel superhero fan or not, I want you to put your cap on of looking through all this stuff through the lens of Avengers Endgame. You think about the Avengers movie, you have different groups coming together. And that is the amazing thing about what we do as an organization and what you all do as individuals. You all give of yourself, you're explorers, you're learners. You try to do something new and different and you bring it back into the community. You'll see back there, there's those two owls. Those were actually made out of Corian, which is that countertop material. Like if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can see it there. Uh, so it was basically made out of layers of Corian that were glued together, and then it was milled, uh, the material was subtracted away using one of the robots. So there was okay. one of the guys, that's not one of them there, but uh, Dan, one day, you know, I'd see him sitting there on a stool just watching it all day long because he had to make sure that it was not malfunctioning because it would be bad. Um, so we can talk a little bit more about those owls because those are actually being installed in the city of Austin, Texas. The cool thing about the owl is that it has a secret. So in the city of Austin, Texas, kind of similar to Boston, there's a lot of tourists. Austin also prides itself in being weird as well. Um, so, like kind and weird. Um, and so, if you're someone who lives in the city of Austin, Texas, you have some time on your hands, you're feeling like maybe I might want to freak out some tourists today, you sit on the bench and underneath the bench there's this hidden rim that if you turn it, it actually turns the owl's head. And the way that the eyes look super creepy, they kind of look like a surveillance. Uh, you can make people think that the owl is watching them just kind of by subtly look, like moving the rim and the bottom of the bench. And it looks like it's a super high tech thing, but it's actually just a simple thing. Prosthetics is another application of our software. Fit is a real problem. Uh, in some of the advances in not just 3D printing, but also 3D scanning, where you can actually make things more personalized for someone's particular limb, it's really exciting. This here is a glass bowl, and this whole thing is a battery that I 3D printed and designed using Tinkercad of the software you have before you. What I would like you guys to do right now is to create the bowl or the glass bowl portion of this battery. As you'll notice, there's a lot of curves to it, right? Yeah. These are all basic shapes stacked on top of each other. Trust me, I would not give you this task on a Friday afternoon if I didn't think you could do it. Copy, paste, right? And then you can move it up and move it here and then shrink it, right? Now if you do it three times, it will automatically shrink the same amount you did before and it will gradually create that for you. 
What you guys were designing was something called an Anulux battery. An Anulux battery has a special significance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. An Anulux battery is the untapped potential or the highest return on investment energy source in the universe. People fight wars over it. People have died over one battery because that potential cannot be found anywhere else. Each one of you, whether in yourself or your ability to inspire others, has that untapped potential that could transform our city. So, one of the things we're working on in honor of all the TSN labs is an actual physical tribute to thank everyone in the network who's affiliated with the network, who helps unleash that untapped potential in our neighborhoods. This is the physical lifestyle display. We're still work in progress as all things in engineering, but we'd like to give a little demo of what's to come. Andres, the honor. So afterwards, if you'd like to come and see, the purpose for each TSN lab to have their own Anulux battery that will project their logo so you can see all of the untapped potential that resides in the area. Simba, oh poor little Simba. Simba, please be careful. I think we all know that you've experienced one too many tragic falls. Well, now that Simba has received treatment for his concussion, we would like to give a shout out to Autodesk Education and the Timothy Smith Network for supporting our field trip to the build space. While we were exploring the build space, I went ahead and put together a couple of Cricut components in order to make my Nala mask. At this stage, I can feel free to use any markers to fill in the pattern, or I can use even glitter sticks, maybe cut out some more components out of cardstock or vinyl, or even add some felt ones, whatever I have lying around. But since I had a little bit of extra time, I decided to actually create a laser cut version of Nala's mask as well, using our laser cutter and some acrylic paints that I had lying around MLab. Why? Well, when I looked back at my actual image, I noticed that Nala's mask in the musical looked similar to birch, plywood, or oak. So I decided to use the laser cutter to make a more advanced version of her mask. And yes, you heard me correctly, a laser cutter. A laser cutter is a machine that uses lasers in order to cut 2D objects out of materials such as wood, acrylic, and even paper. You can find our complete step-by-step -step guide on how we brought our Nala mask to life and even this version, if you're up for a bit of a challenge, on our Instructables. Now, let's make the rest of our Nala costume. Using the same sketch file from earlier, I extruded our sketch in Fusion 360 to create a 3D model or a CAD model of Nala's mask in order to send her to the 3D printer in order to bring a little 3D printed stamp to life. Now that I have Nala's mask as a 3D print, I'm going to use a sturdy piece of fabric or even felt like I have here in order to dip my Nala mask and make an actual stamp. So first, I'm going to take my stamp dip it in a little bit of acrylic paint, making sure to lightly touch everywhere, and wiping off any excess paint. Make sure I cover her ears, her eyes, because I want every detail of Nala to actually show through. And once I wiped off all the excess, I'm gonna take my 3D stamp, and I'm gonna gently place it on my piece of fabric or felt, and then lightly lift up until a pattern is made. Feel free to do this as many times as you need it, depending on how detailed you want your print. It woots woot. Okay, not bad for a first attempt. And we'll continue to do this on our piece of fabric until we get the pattern we need. Now, did you know that Nala is being played by Beyonce in the live action version of the film? You know what that means. We need to make sure this shawl is on point. I actually have a shawl already here ready to go that should be just as fabulous as Nala. Matter of fact, I think this occasion calls for a little something extra. Now we're ready to defend Simba's pride. If you would like to join me, Nala, and Simba, 
Check out our step-by-step -step guide on how we brought this Nala costume to life on Instructables. Before I have to take off to take care of some personal business, I would like to thank everyone who made this MLab project a reality. The Timothy Smith Network, TSN Labs, Autodesk Education, The Build Space, and last but certainly not least, Boston Neighborhood Network. If you would like to learn more about MLab and Bajika, check out our website at bajika.org, as well as our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, my car is here, so until next time, build, make, and learn. Are you Nisha? Yeah, thank you so much for picking me up. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, let's see, it says you want to go to the zoo. Yep, I'm going to see a lion for the first time. Have you ever seen a lion? I thought everybody's seen a lion. Nope, my first time. Well, let's get you to the zoo so you can see that lion. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> 